Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. God, this game goes on, doesn't it? Anyway, guys, welcome back. Good to see you again. So we're here at the Sassan Monastery, by the way, because we have a cost. We have a cost. We have a quest called a costly brawl. Now this is Ma Matthew and Fritz. The monastery wants Fritz and Matthew to pay for treatment. That doesn't seem right to me. Uh, so I found out the lads had a brawl with a monk called Elias. I have to find him. So let's go find this little fellow and um, see what he has to say. There's also a quest over here. It might be the, by the same guy. Let's have a look at our map a second. Yeah, so he's he's near. He might be upstairs. Oh, there is no upstairs. Well, he might be. I think it's this roundhouse. How would you get into this roundhouse? Oh god, all these wounded men. Right, um... Maybe him. Maybe him? Maybe he is... Oh my god, I can't here. speak. Brother Elias? Can I have a, a word? I know about the fight. I heard you had a fight with Fritz and Matthew. Heathens. So it was you they fought with? That's dark, by the yes, way. Sorry about that. it was me. And I hope I'll never have to see those wastrels again. They deserve to be ousted, but the debt? How are they ever going to pay it? I really don't care. Let them live in penury. Brutes. Okay, right, okay. We can um, do some persuasion here. We are going to beat them on everything. Such spite is unchristian. Isn't that a little unchristian? You wouldn't want personal spite to ruin their lives, would you? Well, those were just idle threats, really. If they come and apologise, there's always a possibility of forgiveness. Okay, so persuade Elias to let them off their debt, which I have done. Um, let's tell him the news. Now, I'm worried. I don't want to go, who are you? Because I think I'm going to get into the quest. I don't want to do that yet. Take care now. Or maybe not. I don't know. No, I haven't. I'm talking crap. I'm talking absolute coswallop. Right, so let's now go to see... Matthew and Fritz, and they're all the way over here in Led Dutch Cool. Thank God for fast travel. So this was my first, um, I started off, let's just run away. So I started off my channel with Kingdom Come Deliverance, not knowing how big the game is. So I think this is like episode 30 now already. And, uh, and to be honest with you, I don't think I would have started on this game, knowing it was so long. That's my first playthrough. Because the problem is you don't get many views. Or I don't. Anyway. But I feel I have to complete it anyway. Which I'm going to do. I'm not going to stop playing Henry. it. Fritz. You have hey, to apologise I'm afraid. You get so fucked up? About your debts. About your brawl with Elias. Your best friend settled the matter. You're serious? Absolutely. All you have to do is go to him and promise you'll pay the debt somehow. Well, we. That's a quick we quest. Won't this. Oh, on my honor. Thanks. Right, okay. And, right, that's done. That was, that, was a, that was a piece of piss, that was, wasn't it? Um, Well, I, I can't finish the episode there, guys, can I? That's like, uh, how long is that? Like three minutes long. So let's have a quick look at the map a second. Um. Who's this? Activity giver? Sod that. We want a proper meaty quest, don't we? Ah, oh, this decisions, decisions. Let's go to this guy over here, the blacksmith, in their Dutch coat, and see what he wants. Let's do a, a waymark thing. Um, marker X. Right. Okay, we got a marker. Let's go there. Let's go and get our trusty horse. Look at him. Look at that horse. Right, let's go. You know, I'm having a bit of FPS problems in this game and the um, Plague Tales. Plague Tale. Ever since I updated my driver. Oh. Could be something else. Right, here we go. Let's get off our trusty horse. We don't take front doors at us. We Blacksmith, hello, you got a quest for me? Good health to you. And to you too. 
Do you need any help? Something troubling you? I wouldn't say it's troubling me exactly, my boy, but I've heard talk about the Sussa blacksmith that I'm losing sleep over. What talk might that be? They say they've heard him chanting when he tempers steel, and that nothing of his ever breaks. Wow, oh, maybe there's a bit of witchcraft going on here. Is it spells? Using spells to strengthen steel. That sounds like old wives' tales to me. That's what they say. They say he's always muttering something, and if anyone catches him at it, he stops at once and gives them dirty looks. Maybe he's just praying. Well, he's getting help of some sort, whether it's prayers or something less holy. Yeah, so why not see for yourself, you lazy bugger? It's troubling you. Go and have a look for yourself. Easy for you to say. I have too much work to do. Oh, right, and I haven't. And anyway, I can't just turn up asking questions. He wouldn't tell me anything. Right, I'll do it. And, uh... How could I help with that? Simple enough. Go there and find out if there's any grain of truth in it. I suppose asking costs nothing. Just don't ask him outright about any sorcery. Don't worry, I'm not that daft. Good, good. And don't worry, you won't be the poorer for it. Once you find out what's what, I'll find a way to recompense you. Recompense me? Okay, I will do it. All right, I'll go and see if there's anything to the stories. Good. But be subtle about it. Don't go embarrassing yourself. Or me. Good luck to you. Right, so tricks of the trade. We've got to do this very menial task. Uh, this other, this other uh, blacksmith is chanting something to his swords and they never break. So I have to be very cautious about getting any information from the Sussau blacksmith, but all accounts he's a great she bastard who doesn't like anyone poking their nose into his craft. Maybe it would be better by, uh, to try asking one of his family. Right. Right, it's right over to Sussau. You have to give me a quest right over there, don't you, eh? Right, horse, we have a job to do. We have to go to Sussau. Don't be shy. You'll never see such fine meats. Right, here we are. Here he is, chanting away. Let's talk to one of, one of his family then. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not wither, darling mine. Now, for the last time. Right, let's go see if we can the find... He hides behind the Excuse me. Oh, I, just got a pic I want to see a family member. Thanks for letting me wash in your, your bowl of, uh... Let's have a word with him then, shall we? Blacksmith Mikesh. What's all this chanting going on about? I'm honoured that you should come to me. They say you're the best blacksmith around. They say you can cast spells. Let's do the first one. They say you're the best blacksmith in the whole region. That metal you've tempered never breaks. Ha! Ah, nothing but old wives' tales. Of course some of my pieces are broken. But only ever here at the smithy. No one's ever returned anything for you to rework, though, have they? Not that I recall, but I can't remember everything. Right, okay, so we got a bit of a uh, persuasion going on. We can talk to him and say, that's all clear enough to me. My father was a blacksmith, too. I understand. I remember. Father always heated up the iron until it was bright red, just starting to turn bright yellow. The furnace hummed gently and glowed, and then the water hissed. There was sweat on our foreheads, too. Fine words, and no mistake. I do it a little differently. I heat until the metal is two, three shades short of bright yellow. I ease up on the bellows, and after a Lord's Prayer and a Hail Mary, off it goes into the water. It's, um, it's strange to think that I'll never help him out with it again. Our forge will stay burned out forever, unless I go back to the trade myself. It would be a shame not to, lad. Working iron is a worthwhile thing. Well... Godly. It makes life easier for folk. And, let's be honest, you can make a decent living doing it. Okay, find out. Yeah, okay. Um, is that it? Objective completed? Listen to the blacksmith's ditty and go back to the Dutch Co. 
And is that all? There's nothing else you do with it? Well, that depends. I heat it up again after that, but not so it starts to glow. I just hold it like this at the edge of the furnace for a while and then quench it again. Okay. You quench twice? Yes, although there's less quenching needed the second time, it doesn't get quite so hot. Right, okay. How does that help? I don't rightly know. I found out about it by chance. I got caught short, needed to piss so bad, I left the rod resting by the furnace by mistake. That's how I found out if you quench twice, it doesn't break. Quench easily. twice. I have no idea why, but I've tried it enough times to know it works. I think we've got to remember this, guys. So, two shades of yellow, quench, and then quench twice but not so hot on the second time. Um, on the subject of tempering, which is the second quenching. I'd like to ask you about the tempering process. And I'd say I have nothing much to tell you. You just need an eye for it and a furnace. Let's stop talking about tempering. Okay, I better not ask him about the spells. God be with you. Hmm. Right, here we are, back in the Dutch coat. Let's go and see this uh, blacksmith and tell him about the tempering process. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I find out what this associate blacksmith is doing. Master blacksmith, I think I know how the tempering gets done in Sassau. And what have you found out? Don't keep me on tenterhooks. Out with it. Right, this is what he told me. He heats it up to red, three steps away from yellow, and then stops heating, says the Lord's Prayer, and quenches. I'll be damned. That's pretty much what I do too. Except I just count. I'm just saying what I found out. That's as may be. But there must be something else he does differently if he does the quenching just like I do. He said nothing breaks once, it's left the smithy. Oh, he tempers twice over. Yeah, he does, and he quenches twice. He said he repeats the tempering straight after, but only warming up the iron, so it never even turns red. Tempering twice in a row? Why would he do that? He said it happened by chance once, and he noticed it made everything stronger, so now he does it that way all the time. Well, there's no harm in trying it out, is there? Are you satisfied? Well, that's it. 100 groschen. I did what I asked of you, so I'm at your service. And here's something to keep you going. Nice one. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Go back to the Dutch Co. Okay, we've done that. Tricks the trade. Quest done. Take care. Easy peasy. I love it. I love the easy ones. Guess the quest done. I can get on with editing it and upload it to YouTube. So I can relax and have a whiskey. Happy days. Anyway, guys, that's it. See you next time. Bye bye. Yeah.